Hi, this is Shubankar Chakraborty from American Academy of Financial Management. We are getting a lot of queries uh, based on various topics on um, CWM. And uh, through these small videos, we're just trying to address those queries. So uh, this is the query that we have today. The query is, when should you use arithmetic mean return? And when should you use geometric mean return? What are the scenarios or investment contexts in which one measure may be more appropriate or more useful than the other? Now, to answer this, let us first understand what are the scenarios in which arithmetic mean can be used. First is, if your investment is a short-term investment. So if it is for, let's say, a couple of years or a few quarters, then arithmetic mean will make sense because it is it does not require too much of compounding. So arithmetic mean will be working. It is, it is more appropriate to do arithmetic mean. The second scenario is if your investment is of equal weightage. Let's say you have invested in 10 stocks and you have invested the same amount. 50,000 rupiah, the stock may dal diya. So, usme arithmetic mean kaam karega. So, agar return aapko uh, analysis karna hai, return ka, to har ek stock ka jo analysis ho ka, to usme arithmetic mean se, wo uska return aapko dik chayega. So, that is the second condition. The third condition is, if it is a volatile investment or, or if, if the investment returns are significantly changing from one period to another. So, uh, arithmetic mean kya karta hai? It gives you a more accurate uh, uh, result because of the central tendency. So it gives you the uh, the, the return based on the all the uh, uh, you know volatility, all the all the returns that that gets created in different period. Um, so uska ek mean nikalata hai. So that is uh, another re reason why why we use uh, arithmetic mean. So it gives you a concise form of just through arithmetic mean you can get a very clear picture of what is the ultimate return that got created uh, during the volatile phase. So, uh, jo, jo return bahut differ karta hai, to usko ek central tendency pe leke aate hai. So that is what arithmetic mean is for. Now, when we use geometric mean, we use geometric mean when the investments are for a longer horizon. Usme compounding effect ana, uh, ka darkar hota hai to uh, get actual uh, or accurate um, uh, result of your uh, analysis. You need continue, uh, you need a compounding effect in your calculation and geometric mean does that. So that's why if your investment is, let's say for 10 years or 20 years, then you have to use geometric mean return as a uh, calculation. If it is unequal weightage, so let's say, uh, you know, uh, you are investing in uh, 10 stocks, different amount, not just that, there are multiple cash flows. So there is a dividend coming in, which is getting reinvested. You are further investing, you know, th these kind of things. So, so there's a multiple cash flow, which are also uneven in nature. And uh, investments are also unequal uh, in, in their weightage. At that point, you have to use geometric mean. Otherwise, you will not be uh, able to analyze the overall return of your portfolio. Because each of these uh, cash flows will have their own uh, return, which needs to be brought at one place. So you need geometric mean to do that. The other situation is when there is an investment comparison. Now, let's say you are uh, uh, you know, comparing return of different portfolio for a same period of time. So let's say you have taken uh, 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 a Nifty uh, 50 uh, uh, you know, benchmark you have taken a large cap portfolio, you've taken a mid cap portfolio, all these are having different returns and you are comparing them with, uh, uh, with each other for let's say one period of uh, one, one uh, you know, uh, time frame, a specific period. So you need geometric mean to actually reach to that conclusion. So that is the other reason why you do uh, geometric mean. So through this video, we just uh, try to address that what are the scenarios in which arithmetic mean would work better and what are the scenarios where geometric mean would be better. Hope you liked this video. Thank you so much.